Before Grace Kelly was an Academy Award-winning actress and Princess of Monaco, she spent her childhood in Philadelphia living with her family in a charming two-and-a-half-story colonial home. Located in the city's East Falls section, the six-bedroom abode was originally built in 1928 by her father, John B. Kelly, a three-time Olympic gold medalist in rowing. While the home has switched owners over the years, it's now back in the family after the princess's son, Prince Albert, purchased it in the fall of 2016. Today, the house has been restored to resemble the period when the Kellys lived there. In 1956, the royal fairy tale wedding took place when Hollywood starlet Grace Kelly married Prince Rainier III of Monaco. At the heart of Monaco's glamorous capital Monte Carlo, you will find the Prince's Palace of Monaco, a breathtaking royal property that has been there for centuries. Grace Kelly left her mark on the Prince's Palace too while she was a princess and living here. Much of her influence is still seen through the royal residence today. Princess was known for her impeccable taste and that extended to her choice of other homes too. In the final years of her life, Princess Grace favored a multi-million dollar hideaway in the stunning area of Gillette, France which boasted postcard views and a seven-bedroom rustic mansion. Before Grace Kelly was an Academy Award-winning actress and a princess, she grew up in Philadelphia with her family. Kelly's lived in a stately and charming colonial-style home situated in the East Falls section of the city. The six-bedroom abode was originally built in 1928 by Grace's father, John B. Kelly, a three-time Olympic gold medalist in rowing. While the historic property has switched hands over the years. In 2016, Princess Grace's son, Prince Albert of Monaco, purchased it back for $755,000. Now back in the ownership of the family, the Kelly house has been restored to resemble the period of time when Grace grew up here. Prince Albert and his cousins went through old photos and videos of the home to get it as closely as they could to its original state. Toby E. Boshak, executive director of the Princess Grace Foundation USA said, There's an old rug that used to be in the living room that was brought back. They polished and restored all the finishes, keeping originals when possible, and matching older items that resembled the period of the house. In terms of how the home looks, inside, there are photos as well as a 3D virtual tour online so you can even see it for yourself. Walking into the Kelly home, there's a grand foyer with wide plank hardwood floors underfoot, which are the originals. In the foyer to the right, there's a doorway leading to a massive formal living room which runs the entire length of the home. Right off that space, you'll find an enclosed sunroom facing McMichael Park. Towards the left, double doors open into the formal dining room where there's reportedly still the original butler bell under the rug somewhere and a strip of the original wallpaper. The home's kitchen is set just off of the dining area and divided into three separate spaces. The breakfast room, the butler's pantry, and the actual kitchen for all your food prepping needs. The Kelly home has also kept personal historic touches throughout. For instance, in the second floor linen closet door, you'll find all the markings of the children's heights from two years old to their late teens, clear as can be. Prince Albert believes that past owners may not have painted over them since they realized it was part of the family's history. But either way, they're there. The second level of the home holds four of the bedrooms, one of which was Young Grace's Once Upon a Time, and the main bedrooms all have their own dressing rooms too. All the bedrooms in the home are connected with through passages, and there were three baths on this level. At the top of the home's main staircase, there's another stairway leading to the top, top floor, with three bedrooms and two baths overlooking the yard below. That yard once boasted tennis courts too. What might be the most interesting level is the basement though. Here, there's a den where the Kellys used to have Christmas Eve parties. It's also where they did the interview after Grace Kelly and Prince Ranier's engagement announcement. Beside this room is a real bar which the family dubbed Kelly Tavern. There's an ore above the bar that's believed to have been Mr. Kelly's and the point of his skull is displayed as well. Reportedly the home is to be used by Prince Albert and his family anytime they visit Philadelphia. It was said at the time Prince Albert is very close to his family, his cousins and extended family. And one of the things that's very endearing is that the upstairs rooms were established for them to stay as family. The big room upstairs has been set up for the children to play. Home is not only supposed 
supposed to be a place for the family to stay, but it's reportedly used as the offices for the Prince Albert II of Monaco Foundation, which supports environmental issues. It will also be a place to hold events for the Prince's Grace Foundation USA, which provides scholarships and career help to rising talent in theater, dance, and film, three areas of the arts the princess was passionate about. Of course, after becoming Princess Grace of Monaco, Grace Kelly left her mark on the prince's palace, which would be her home. Much of her influence can still be seen in the royal residence to this day. In 1956, the royal fairy tale wedding took place when Hollywood star Grace Kelly married Prince Ranier III of Monaco. At the heart of Monte Carlo, the glamorous capital of Monaco, situated on the French Riviera, you'll find the prince's palace. The royal residence that has stood there for hundreds of years. Located on Monaco Rock next to Monaco's old town, the Prince's Palace remains the private home of the reigning Prince of Monaco, Albert, Prince's Grace's son. The palace has a long history and has been extended and renovated several times over the centuries. Its origins date back to the early 13th century, 1215 to be exact. Following a handful of transformations, the ancient fortress became one of the most luxurious properties of the 17th century, in a style of the Louis XIV era. The state apartments of the Grand Palace are open to tourists at certain times of the year, but other parts of the palace remain off limits to the public. Albert lives at the Prince's Palace with his wife, Princess Charlene, and their two children, Princess Gabriella and Prince Jacques. As the son of Princess Grace and Prince Ranier, Albert has kept many of the elements his parents introduced to the main castle. As well as becoming a princess upon marriage, Grace also became the chatelaine of the prince's palace. She introduced several interior changes to the historic royal residence, including the beautiful blue walls that remain untouched in the guards room. Alongside her husband, Princess Grace also designed the palace's impressive pool. When he took the throne, Prince Ranya had overseen the restoration of the external frescoes in the palace courtyard. The southern wing of the palace, which had been destroyed during the French Revolution, was also rebuilt, and now this wing is the private apartments of the Monegasque royals. Prince Albert recently commissioned some changes of his own to restore the palace's interior and exterior. A notable feature of Prince Albert's reign has been the use of the palace balcony on important occasions in Monaco. Monaco's royals will often wave to the crowds from this balcony on Monaco's National Day or to mark the birth or wedding of a family member. The palace's courtyard boasts two grand staircases made of marble, which royals have often been pictured posing on over the decades. The courtyard was also the setting of Princess Charlene and Prince Albert's star-studded wedding in 2011. Today, the rooms that the public can visit at the palace include the Palace Chapel, the Hercule Gallery, the Mirror Gallery, the Red Room, the York Room, the Yellow Room, or the Louis Bedroom and the Throne Room. While the palace was Princess Grace's main residence in the final years of her life, she favored a multi-million dollar hideaway in a stunning area of Gillette, France. This place boasted postcard views in a seven bedroom rustic mansion. This sprawling $12.92 million villa in a quaint village, about an hour's drive from Nice, France, became one of the princess's favorite places to escape to. The 6,500 acre estate was named Le Moulin du Villar and started life as a former olive oil mill, dating back to the 14th century. The property was entirely rebuilt in 2012 while still keeping the original rustic charm. The estate is set within a nature reserve and has been known for centuries for the healing properties of the two natural spring water streams that run through it. It was said the Princess Grace found these springs soothing and enjoyed spending time here to recharge and recuperate. While the princess didn't live here full time, she frequented the property often after first visiting in 1980 with her daughter Princess Caroline. It's said that Princess Grace was especially charmed by a presentation of locally made cheese and olive oil on one of her first trips to the villa, and the actress befriended the owners. She returned alone several times before her 1982 death in a car accident at age 52. She even donated two statues that are still on display today. The spirit of Grace Kelly still lives on in the home. It's easy to conjure up the image of the Hollywood starlet turned princess gliding out to the pool, or relaxing in one of the palatial bedroom suites. 
The main villa is about 6,000 square feet and it's the former olive oil mill, which spans four floors connected by an elevator. The house has two living rooms, a kitchen and rear kitchen, a wine cellar, seven beds, an office, and a uniquely decorating living area. One of the most striking features in the home is the glass encased working water wheel in the middle of the living room, powered by one of the streams. Outside, there's a poolside guest suite, charming two bedroom guest house, and a sanctuary. The sanctuary is a semi-restored ruin dating from Roman times an ancient flour mill and industrial forge with ancient ornamental fish ponds. It's now used for parties, recitals, and seminars. But the Roman cement it was built with dates back at least 1,700 years. Additionally, there is a fitness studio, a tennis court, and a helicopter pad. Another stunning feature of the property is definitely the heated infinity pool, which is illuminated at night and takes advantage of the panoramic views. There's also a man-made tunnel, which runs parallel to the stream and meets up with it at 50 meters inside a mountain. It comes out at the entrance of the property and allows you to see the river from underground. Grace Kelly's properties were not only a reflection of her glamorous and iconic status, but a testament to her taste and appreciation for beauty in all its forms. From her enchanting childhood home in Philadelphia to her elegant residences in France, Grace's mansions were sophisticated and charming. Her legacy continues to captivate and inspire, much like the allure of the silver screen siren herself. Grace Kelly's properties will forever leave a mark on both the world of Hollywood and high society. For now, that'll wrap up this house tour, but before we go, answer this question for me. If you moved into a royal residence, what changes would you make to its interior or exterior design. Let me know down in the comments and don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow me on Instagram to chat. I'm Kara the Vampire Slayer and I'll see you all in another video. Bye!